Now I've come back to the opening screen uh, with my green screen background and I showed you before how to click record but you can actually also use pre-recorded audio that you've already created and there's some other tools that you can use. Notice you can use mp3, WAV and mp4 files up to two minutes on one gig in size. So let's have a look at some of the tools that you could use. You could use, for example, the online voice recorder, and I've got a tutorial to show you how to use that. Um, and also you can use AI tools like this 11 Labs tool, and I will generate a video tutorial and look at the link for that to show you how to use your own voiceover without ums and ahs, because it will turn your text into speech. So it's a good tool to use. So you don't have to just record direct from the app, although you can, you can upload. So if you've got a, something you want to use, let's click on here. Let's go and find on my downloads. Let's go and search for .mp3 files and downloads here. That's, um, I can upload that, so click on open. And what will happen, it will now upload in the way that it did before. And you do the same thing for the online voice recorder, saved from a different location on your desktop. Now, because you've only got two minutes per audio clip, it's better to have much shorter, perhaps a paragraph or maybe two paragraphs of text in total for each of your scenes in your video when you put it together as a presentation. So I recommend you create a very simple storyboard you can see here i've created a little picture of sticky as you saw i've just done for my first scene the next one I'm get, he's going to be close up then he's going to be on the other side um, looking in and then full figure in scene four and then scene five and scene six and i um, estimate each of those little scenes to be no more than 10 or 15 seconds long each and combining together to make a much longer video and on each of those backgrounds there'd be something different and these little lines you've seen here that's indicating the text that I want to use and other information like the background that's going to be relevant so that when I come to put my green screen together I've got the other pictures and elements organized to make my story the way I want it so the first place to start really is with your storyboard and then once you've got your storyboard sorted in your head you then come to Adobe Animate and you create your talking character with each what it's going to say and position on screen it's going to be for each of the scenes that you're going to create for your presentation.